Hi, this is Adele and today we're going to go through a 60 minutes flow class leading up to the Sandal pose, also known as Compass pose. So this class will involve quite a bit of hip openness, hamstring stretches, shoulder stretches to help the chest feel more open, to enable more side bending and rotation of the torso as well. So it sounds like a lot, but we'll take it progressively. So even if the last pose doesn't seem that accessible to you today, you can still relish in the whole journey just leading up to it. Okay, so remember, big poses or that we work towards, it just gives us more opportunities to understand the body on its more subtle levels. And whether you get to a final pose on a certain day, okay, that depends and then we go with the flow with that. Okay, so let's get started by sitting on the ground. Cross-legged sit, feel free to sit on a cushion or a thick towel. Your hands on your knees or thighs. Just close your eyes and drop your awareness into your body. Start by just softening across the face, the jaws, neck and shoulders. And feel your weight nicely planted on the seat. Let your inhale rise your torso a little taller. And feel your exhale ground down into your seat. So you feel well pushed over your seat. Now let's play with the breath. Inhale. Exhale, sigh out through the mouth. Two more times like this. Inhale. Sighing out. One last time, inhale. Exhale, sigh out. So explore another breathing which feels almost like blowing out a candle. Notice how this one feels as versus the sighing out breath. Let's try it. Inhale through the nose. Like blowing a candle out. Two more rounds. Inhale. Blow out the candle. Last one. Inhale. Blow out a candle. And just take a few moments. Then we'll explore our last breathing, which is the usual one that we do in yoga, nostril breathing. So after that, you can decide which breath will work for you at a different moment and use that breath pattern accordingly. So it means that you just have more choices at your disposal throughout the whole class. So now inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the nose. Let it be gentle, no forcing. Inhale. Exhale through the nose. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Just enjoy the breath in the body as you gently turn your face to your right. Turn back forwards and all the way to your left. Back to center, draw your throat forward, chin up. Center, your throat pulls back, your chin comes towards the chest. And come back to center where you feel upright and lifted. Reach your arms all the way over the head. Fingers to tap, palms to press, and slowly slide it to the center of your chest. So keep opening, moving into sandal pose. Do what we can. Enjoy the process. Let us begin. Namaste. So take your arms all the way up to the sky. Right hand come to the right side and reach out to the right side. Bottom shoulder down away from the ears, bottom elbow release. Maybe on the ground or off the ground. Come up to center, change, left palm to the ground, right arm stretch over, bottom elbow soft, bottom shoulder ease. Feel the right butt heavy. One more set, inhale, right palm to the ground, reach over to right side, keep the left butt heavy. Inhale, left palm down, right arm reaching over. 
the side stretch. Inhale, come up right facing forward, arms overhead. Twist towards the right side, hips facing rightwards. Twist back to the center. Twist towards the left side. Back to center. One more time. Twist towards the right side. Now add on one hand behind your butt, one hand outer left knee, outer right knee. And just gently revolve the chest. Make sure your back feels fine. Don't pause. Inhale, return both arms to center. Twist without the arms first. Once you feel that your core is well engaged, one hand behind the butt, one hand outer knee. Sit tall first, then work on revolving the chest as you relax the jaws. If you feel any gripping around the back, soften it. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale, arms down to the side. Come onto hands and knees on all fours. Let's move the spine. Preparation for hip. They can be well affecting each other. Toes point back or tuck under, arms are straight. Then from there, on your tail, stretch your belly and chest out, cow pose. Tuck your tail, hunch and round your back in cat pose. Point tail, stretch belly and chest out, forward cow. Tuck tail, round your lower, your middle and upper back in cat. One more time, inhale, arch your cow pose. And exhale, rounding and press down the knuckles in cat pose. Look slightly forward, point back the toe, sit the buttocks back, extend the child's pose. If you can, buttocks slide back and keep the fingers pressing down on the first three fingers especially. Feel the upper arms, squeeze next to your ears, breathe. Give you a nice good stretch that extends into your back as your buttocks go heavy. Take a few breaths, relax the jaws. So your forehead can be hovering off the ground or on the ground. Keep your palms pressing on the earth, elbows lifted. Walk both hands to your right side, side stretching. Left arm, feel like you press the arm straight, sit the buttocks downwards. Deepen the hip crease. Come back to center, go on to the second side. Left arm, right arm reaching out and feel the right butt sitting down to the ground as fast as you can. Relax the jaws. Feel the hip crease deeper. Slowly walk back to the center with the elbow still lifted. Then from here, just drop the elbows to the ground in front of you. Stay here is option one. Option two, narrow your hands, interlace your fingers. Dig your elbows to the ground and place your forehead on the ground. Your fist draw behind your head. Feel the elbow sliding forward. You get a nice good stretch across the armpit towards the back of the arms. Relax the jaws and holding here for three, two, and one. Drop the fist forward, hands separate. Press the ground, come on hands and knees. This time tuck the toes, lift the knees, ties and butt back, downward facing dog. Just pedal out your legs a few times as you look at your fingers, spread them wide. Grip down the first three fingers and the pinky. Pedal up and down your heels. Your toes are pointing ahead. Your knees just soft bend. Relax the jaws. Walk a few more steps as slow as you need to. Then from there, right knee bend, left leg straight. Press with straight arms. Ears are next to your upper arms. Change the bend leg. Raise both heels and straighten both legs. Now bend your knees, press your belly back and your chest back. Feel the long spinal length. Push the thighs back. And maybe some of us will get success driving the heels downwards. Don't force it. Come on, tiptoes, knees to ground all fours. Well placed hands, stretch your right leg back, firm the thigh and lift the leg up to hip level. Just find that the toes are pointing back, the butt is firm. Now curl your knee towards the chest and stretch it out. Curl in knee to chest and stretch out. Curl in knee to chest, stretch it out. Last one, curl in knee to chest, holding here for three, two, one. Look ahead, right foot step between the hands. 
So back toes can tuck under, right knee on top of the ankle, lift yourself to upright. You can pull the foot in if you feel unstable. So back toes tuck to the PT side, right hand on the thigh. Left arm next to your ear. Side bend to your right side. Feel the right foot having to plant down. You lift the chin slightly away from the chest. Side bend again. Slowly come upright. Interlace your fingers, place them at the back of the hip. And slightly open the elbows as you find a little chest opening, just a little. Now pull the elbows forward to tap onto the front knee. A few times. Inhale, slide, open the chest, or just come upright if your balance is low straight key. Exhale, crunch forward. Two more set. Inhale, open, peel across the chest. Exhale, crunch inwards. Last time, inhale, open across the chest. Exhale, crunch inwards. Take the hands to the ground next to your foot. Squeeze your back leg straight in a lunge position. Stretch out the chest and feel the right heel plant into the ground. Drop the back knee. Then from there, shift the right knee back on all fours. Press the palms. Exhale, downward facing dog. Reset. Squeeze your arms straight next to your ears. Relax the jaws. Thighs and butt press back. Breathe. Feel that the neck is not locked, although your arms are working strong. Thumb on tiptoes, knees to ground all fours. Second side. Palms well placed, left leg shoot back, lift the leg up to hip back, hip level. Okay, this helps to strengthen the core in a balancing state. Crunch the knee in, stretching out. Exhale, might have been crunch easier. Reaching out, crunch in, stretch out. Last time, crunch in, hold for three, two, one. Look ahead, left foot plant between the hands. Back toes tuck a little bit to the right side will be helpful. A short lunge. Left hand tie, right arm lift up next to your ears. Side bend to the left side. How far you can side bend depends on how much our balancing is doing. You feel the right side ribs, right hip, and front right foot. Come back to center. Interlace your fingers, palms at the back of the head. I really got to plant my front foot flat. Open my chest a little bit. Exhale, crunch in. Plant down, drive the heel into the ground. Inhale, open across the chest. Exhale, like a crunch, like a cat pose. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, use any breath at your disposal. Inhale, one more. And exhale. Take the hands to the ground, pick up the back knee up, squeeze the back leg straight. And stretch your chest out in contrast, lengthening the spine. Relax the jaws here. Then from there, you can keep your back knee up or down. Step back, cat pose to down dog or directly into down dog. Stretch the thighs and butt back as you squeeze the arms straight. Breathe. Then from there, you raise the heels, adjust yourself into plank pose. Shoulders on top of the wrist, heels push through. Drop the knees down, toes find all the way, come down to ground. Let's condition the shoulders a little bit. Arms lay out by the side of the thighs, feet pointing back. Spread the toenails on the ground. Legs firm, roll the shoulders away from the ears, half locust pose. You can look down below the face. Firm your knees off the ground, or option to stretch the legs back. As you find your back body, strengthening inwards. Exhale, slowly lower down the chest and the belly. Hands slide forward, elbows in line with your shoulders. Plant your face down towards the ground and make sure your toenails catch some ground. Then from there, you lift the chest, look forward, tip the elbow on the ground and turn the palms facing up, the forearms facing up. Now lift the elbow to shoulder height and feel like you want to turn the back of the palms back, tipping back a little bit. Feel the rolling down of the shoulder blades towards the waist and staying as you look slightly forward. For three, squeeze the shoulder blades and the elbows back. For two, soften your gaze forward. And one, exhale, take everything down to the ground. Hands beside the ribs, press on all fours. Exhale, pull back, child's pose. Buttocks to heels, squeeze your arms straight and spread your fingers, counter it a little bit. 
Feel the arms reaching forward, jaws and neck is soft. Come on, hands and knees. Then exhale, downward facing dog. Have your feet mat width apart and press your thighs and butt back. You slide bend your knees and start to walk your hands towards the end of the mat as you fold into your legs. Forward fold over bend knees is quite fine. Hands opposite elbow, drape into your forearms. Gently tip one elbow to one side of the knee at a time. Just tipping one side to the other. Good. Feel the weight shifting one foot to the other. Tip over to the right side, hand hold on the outer ankle, drape into your right leg. Good. You can squeeze the right leg straight as your belly stay close or keep the knee bent, keep the belly close to thighs. We bend the knee, hang back to the center, wrap your toes, tip your elbow towards the left shin, then use your hand hold across the ankle and fold into your left leg. Right shoulder releases, shift weight into the left outer edge of the foot. Left leg bend is straight or bent. Slowly re-bend the knee, come back to center. Straighten back, legs and arms, flat back. Once again, over bend knees or straight legs, fold into your legs, standing forward fold. Slight bend your knees, take your hands below the shoulders on fingers. And try to get a long spine as you wedge against the outer edge of the feet. Take your hands directly below the chest. Right hand on the hip, right hand. Bend your left knee. Turn your chest towards the right side. Stay here. Or take the right arm to the sky. Open across the chest. It will be lovely to have the hand on the block. Otherwise, push down to the tensored fingers. Bend your knee and take your hand on the hip. Turn to face down both hands on the ground from the same spot. Then from there, right hand, push into the fingertips, left hand on the hip. Bend your right knee a lot and start to turn your chest towards the left. Push down the fingers to open the chest, left arm up. It's a twisting over the wide angle. I'm bending the knee to allow my chest to really revolve. Then hand on hip, turn to face down, both hands down to the ground, maybe both legs straight or bent. Over bend knees, you shift your weight back into your feet and take your hands on hips and slowly all the way come up to standing. You're still facing forward with your feet about shoulder width apart. Reach your arms all the way to the sky. Take your hands on opposite elbow. If it's too much for you, just your hands separate. Okay, wedge into the right foot and slowly side bend to the right side. Come back center, side bend to the left side. Come back center, arms overhead, interlace your fingers, push your palms to the sky. Exhale, bend your elbows, hands at the back of the hip. Slight bend your knees, you give the weight to the feet. And gently let the chest right and forward, the throat pull forward, the chin pull up. Exhale, slowly feel like you're crunching in the ass for just now, let the arms hang. Interlace your fingers, fists come over to the right side. Inhale, come up on the right side like a gentle arch back. Exhale, come down the right side. Just three sets. Inhale, up on the right side. Exhale, down. Last one. Inhale, come down. And exhale, down. Let's go front and shift to the left side. Inhale, left side. Wedge against the left foot. Exhale, down. You can keep your knees bent or straight. Inhale, lifting upwards. Exhale, the most important is to ground down to the feet. Inhale, not lock it anywhere. And exhale. Then swim back to center, hands on hips, over straight leg or bent leg. Hinge from the hip, strong leg, slowly come up to standing. And exhale, take the arms up. Narrow your feet, hip width apart. Arms rest beside the body. Take a while. Shift weight onto your right foot. Now lift the left knee as though you're going on a step. Turn the knee down, hand catch on ankle, and point the knee downwards towards the ground. Option, both hands catch the ankle. Slightly squeeze the shoulder blades, but rise up through the heart. Feel the right thigh firm in its length. Just stretching out the left front thigh. Let the right hand find the hip stable. Then let go of the left foot, open the thigh up, 
Then from there, plant the left foot into your right inner thigh. Three pose. Option to go on a cuff or toes to the ground on ankle. See the height that works for you. And tie push foot, foot push hand. Engage your outer feet muscles. Option, hands to heart. Three pose, finding length, finding grounding. Exhale, arms down. Then point the knee forward and step the foot down. Second side, she with left foot. Right knee like stepping up. Take the hand on the ankle and then from there point the knee downwards. Standing leg, try to straighten. Both hands on ankle option. You pull the upper arms backwards. Same thing. Relax the jaws. Good. Then from there, hands can release back on the hip. Right knee come up, open the thigh out a little bit. Foot, ankle, calf or root of thigh. Plant the foot to wherever you are getting and firm the leg into the foot. Hands can stay on hips outstretched or hands to heart center. Three pose. Find that pressing down to lift upwards. Three. Just a little while more. Relax the jaws. And hands down. Release your foot down. Then from there, come up towards the top of the mat. About one and a half. Foot away from the end of the mat if you are in a mat's long here. So you have some space in front of you. So your feet parallel to one another. Let the palms face in front and just stand tall in mountain position. Find that plumb line balance. Hip, chest, belly, elbows to the ears. Then from there, inhale, arms reach out and wide, arms over the feet. And exhale, hands to heart, forward the hip, standing forward. Hands on shins, flatten your back, your arms and legs. Slight bend your knees and exhale, fold your belly on your thighs, getting a back stretch and maybe a little back of the leg stretch. Anchor down your feet, inhale, look up to rise all the way mountain, reaching for the head. And exhale, hands to heart center. One more of this half sun sandals. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, hinge at the hip. Hands on shins or ankles, flat back, long spine. Exhale, drive the weight into your heels, fold forward. Maybe your legs go a little straighter. Feet planted, inhale, come up to mountain upwards. Exhale, hands to heart, namaste, layering on the practice. Inhale, mountain, arms can always reach forward if there's not enough space. Exhale, forward. Hands on shins, flat back, long spine. This time, slight bend your knees, fingers beside the toes, right foot lunge back. Inhale, stretch out the chest, lengthen. Press the palms, exhale, downward facing dog, toes point ahead. Raise the heels, inhale, come front into plank pose, you're pressing the ground away from you. Drop the knees far away from hands, toes point back, then slowly Bend the elbows backwards, slowly descend down. Legs are firm, stretching back. Stretch your chest out forward. Shoulders roll back, elbows half in baby cobra. Relax the jaws, breathe. Lean your chest down, push the hands and knees on all fours. Back to downward facing dog. Thighs and butt back, ears next to your arms and feet. Raise the heels, right leg slightly lift so you can bend the knee to the chest. And right foot step between the hands. Left hand stay, right arm to right side to stick as you climb into the right edge of the foot. Right hand down to the ground next to your foot, look ahead. Left foot step forward, fold into your legs over parallel feet, forward fold. The thighs press back, but the buttocks shift forward. Anchor your feet, hinge from the hip, inhale, come up to mountain. Exhale, hands to heart. Second side, reach up tall mountain. Exhale to fold deeply, standing forward fold. Hands on chins, rise your chest, flat back, lengthen your spine. Bend knees, fingers beside your toes, left foot lunge back, confident. Front knee on top, ankle, back leg squeeze firm, look forward. Press the palms, step the right foot back, exhale, downward facing dog. 
Heels raised, shift the weight forward. Plank pose, relax the jaw, drive the back heel downwards. Drop the knee far away. Lean your chest slightly forward. Make sure the wrist is fine before you start to bend the elbows. Slowly lie on belly and chest. Legs stretch out forward. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Hug the forearms into the side waist. Maybe you stretch your chest out a little bit forward. Or stretch your belly out a little bit forward as your legs pull backwards. Baby or high cobra. Slowly plant the body downwards. Tuck toes on hands and knees. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Thighs go back. Grip the thumb and the neck towards each other. The arms go straight. Breathe. Relax the jaws. Pelvis goes back. Heels raise. Left leg slightly lift. Enough for you to crunch the knee all the way to the chest. Left foot between the hands. Right hand stay. Left arm, left side. Twist to face towards the left side. Revolve the chest. Left hand down to the ground. Right foot step forward and exhale. Go over straight legs or bend legs. Just keep your pace working on it. But I'll shift forward. Ties pull backwards. Anchor down. Strong planting your feet. Inhale. Reach up all the way out into the sky. And exhale, hands to heart. Namaste. Inhale, reach skywards. Increasing a little bit more difficulty. Exhale, fold forward. Hands on shins, really want to get the spine long. Bend your knees, fingers beside your toes, right foot lunge. Once your feet is stable, you can slide bend your back knee, lift the torso up, high lunge. Press down the front foot, both arms up to the sky. Lunge right hand back of the right thigh, glancing over the right shoulder. Back leg firm to the fingers. Come back center, gaze forward, arms overhead. Hands to heart or reach up forward, press the ground. Step back, plank pose or from dog pose to plank pose. Take a breath here, just finding your balance. On knees or toes, chest move forward, same thing. Bend the elbow slowly back, lower down, all the way down to the ground. Maybe your high cobra is a stretching forward as you stabilize your legs. Shift your weight back, exhale, downward facing dog. Thighs go back, arms firm, ears next to your upper arms. Raise the heels, right leg up to the sky. This time, bend your knees and pull your knee forward towards the right elbow. Inhale, lifting up, three-legged dog. Pull the knee towards the right elbow or higher. One more time. Inhale, raise the leg up. This time, pull towards the elbow direction and plant the right foot step outside of the right leg. Angle the foot about 15 degrees up to the right side. You press on palms or fingers or fists. Stay here, stretching out the chest. The left heel is wedged back. Or start to introduce a little movement, just rocking your weight front and back. You'll be a little wrist and forearm stretch and over the ball of your big flow behind. Then from there, come back shoulder on top of wrist. You can lift your hips up and down a little bit. Not very big bouncing, but a little gentle movement. Then come to a stop, drop the back knee, stretch your chest out forward. You want to keep weight on your palms and your foot, so you stretch out the left frontal hip. Then shift the weight into your foot, into your back knee, Dig in the front heel as you walk the hands closer to the groin, staying on our fingertips as you stretch the chest out long. Dig into the front heel for a diagonal half speed. Inhale, getting the chest forward, the shoulders pull back. Exhale, stay or walk your hands further forward. Take three more breaths here, just lengthening to your own degree. Breathe. Then from there, you can walk your hands back before you re-bend the front knee, come into a lizard lunge with your back tight lift. Press through your hands, then from there, slide your right foot back into plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog or cat pose to rest. Squeeze your arms straight, point your toes forward and breathe. If you glance back, your heels are hidden behind your toes because they're well aligned. Second side, heel up, left leg up. Bend the knee enough to pull the knee towards the elbow. Same side elbow. Lift up three legged dog. Maybe get three and go up higher. Towards the elbow or upper arm. Lifting up three legged dog. 
aim towards the elbow upper arm and this time left foot plant outside of the left pinky, toes angle up slightly. Back leg firm, feel free to drop the back knee down or start to rock your weight front and back. Relax the jaws, ease your back, keep more weight on your hands and foot. And up and down a few times once you get the shoulders on top of the wrist. Then drop the knee down and point back the toes. Stretch the chest out, keep weight on the hands to prevent dumping the weight into the back. Walk your hands back, diagonal half split. Hands can stay there or walk inwards as you need to. Some of us will find it really difficult to balance. Hands on blocks is a good idea or hands on hips which challenge your core. Otherwise, if you want to deepen the hip crease and stretch, you go down deeper. You will intensify the inner thigh stretch as well. Breathe, relax the jaws. Two more breaths. Then slowly from there, re-bend the front knee, hand press the ground. This time, lift up the back thigh, but we're going to step the right foot outside the right hand into a wide half squat. I'll change my profile, you still stay facing front. Your hands on anchor on ground. You go in a half squat or full squat, so depending on where you are. You can use your hands to support the ground, the block, or hands on the inner knees. Just for a while, soften the back. Then point your feet parallel, you fold your body towards the legs into a wide forward fold. Breathe. Relax the jaws, thighs go back, maybe by now it's easier to get in the leg a little bit straighter. Then from there, slight bend your knees, take your hands forward, toe heel your feet, keep width apart. Start to bend your knees, sit into your butt a little bit with your hands support the ground. And from there, slowly streamline the body all the way, come up through mountain. Exhale, hands to heart, namaste. We add in chair pose. Inhale, reach up mountain. Bend knees, fingers beside your toes or ankles. Let the knee track forward. Chair pose. Inhale, fold your body to your legs. Exhale, fold in. Hands on shins, flat back, long spine. Fingers beside your toes, left foot lunge. Slowly shift your weight into your front foot and the back toes, high lunge. Arms overhead, reaching. Left palm back of the left thigh, glancing over the left shoulder. Back thigh can firm into your fingertips. Inhale, both arms forward and overhead. Hands to heart or arms overhead, lean front. Press the foot, press the hands, slide back, down dog, or directly into plank pose. Inhale, one breath wherever you are. Drop the knees or stay on toes, chest forward, elbows bend back, slow descent. Cobra or high cobra, your hands are like they are pulling backwards. Shift weight back, downward facing dog. Ties and butt back. Stretch out the spinal length. Breathe. Then from there, heels up. Raise your right leg to the sky. This time, turn the thigh and knee up and bend your right knee, heel towards the back. The left heel is staying up for a while. Breathe. You can look underneath the right arm feet. Notice the sensations across the lower back. Can you soften it? Give the weight pushing to your hands and your toes. Then from there, you slightly you turn the knee downwards and crunch the knee forward towards the chest. On your way up, you open the knee and open the hip like a three-legged dog open hip. And one more time, you pull the knee towards the chest. And slowly circle out on your way up into three legged dog. Maybe by now the left heel will go down, soften the back, squeeze the right leg straight like a shadow kick to the top. Bend the right knee, left heel up, turn the knee towards the chest. This time right foot step between the hands. Heel to back heel alignment or wider, wedge against the back foot. It's not parallel to your end of mat, slightly angled in as a wedge. Front knee to a square, stretch your chest. Before you circle the left arm, come up to warrior two. If you like to, a few times, you can squeeze the front leg straight and bend a few times. Before you settle in your warrior two, where the front heel is grounded, the back leg squeeze straight, arms out in line with shoulders. Let's do arm variation, arms overhead. Arms to shoulder height, warrior two. Feel free to sit your pelvis between the legs. Inhale, stretch out long in the side waist. And exhale, look towards the front hand, warrior two. 
reach one more inch forward, left palm down on the side, right palm turn, reverse your warrior side stretch in the right side body. Feel free to look down to the back hand or just glance down in front of the chest. Inhale, warrior two. Let's place the right forearm on tight on top of the knee and the ankle. Top arm in line with your chest. Turn the chest open with your left arm reach up to the sky. Take a while. Then from there, look down. Both hands come to the left side. Come into lizard lunge with hands on the ground on the left side and right foot slowly shift out of the way. Lengthen through the spine. Drop the back knee, shift the weight back, come into a diagonal half split. Might have gotten a little easier from the first time. We bend the front knee. Your hands are below the shoulders. Okay, you can stay here or slightly shift the back knee forward a little bit. Let's try to bring the right elbow in line with the heel, forearm on the ground, and same thing for the left elbow. Feel free to use blocks if you have them. Otherwise, you may just have to press your palms and bend the elbows as far as they would. So your forearms, your forearms on blocks as you bend the front knee lunging. Option to squeeze the back leg straight in its length. As your shoulders pull back, stretch the chest out forward. Stay for six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop the back knee down, push back onto your hands. You can shift the block out of the way. Then from there, lift up the back thigh, slide your right foot back to cat pose or all the way to plank pose. Stay in plank for a while. Then exhale, downward facing dog, thighs and butt back. Find symmetrical position as you relax the jaws and breathe. Take two more breaths, inhale. And exhale. Let's go for this second side. Lift the heel slightly. Left leg up to the sky. Face out the thigh and knee and ankle. It looks slightly to the left. Soften the gripping and the gripping in the back. Bend the left knee heel to butt. Let the knee angle up. Angle up to the left side. It's not angle up to the sky. That could be very intense for the lower back for some of us. Maybe right heel comes down. Raise the right heel. We pull the knee to squeeze to the other knee. As you crunch the knee forward to the chest, on your way up, you open the knee slightly, angle out, and heel towards the butt. Three legged dog open here. One more like this. Point the knee downwards and pull the knee towards the chest. I know shoulders and arms working hard. And slowly open the hip. Three legged dog open here. Feel free to stay right heel up or down. Squeeze the top leg straight if you can. Keep it bend if you need to. Arms got to grip the fingers. Breathe. We bend the knee, look ahead, raise the right heel, left foot step outside of the left hand. Either. Oh, left foot step between the hands. Okay, then from there, sorry, warrior two. Heel to heel alignment, back foot slightly angled front. Bend the front knee, look ahead, inhale, come both arms up. Point the left knee towards the pinky toe side and squeeze the back leg straight. Drop the shoulders, drop the arms, open the thigh up, you feel the left thigh stretch. The right leg squeeze straight, arms overhead. This time, palms face forward, cactus, shoulder blades pull down. Reach up to the sky, shoulder blades pull downwards. One last inhale. And shoulder blades pull down, open the arms out, stretch, look towards the front hand, warrior two. The back leg might want to buckle, you slightly bend it, plant into the heel, and squeeze it straight. Then from there, one more inch forward, right palm down, left palm turn. Reverse your warrior, stretching out the left front of you. Breathe. Warrior two, forearm on tight, just focus on opening the chest. Revolve the chest facing up and give the weight to the heel as your back leg help a little bit. Breathe. Press down the bottom forearm so that you don't feel yourself slumping, but lifting up. Looking downwards, take the right hand on the hip. Or just directly to the ground on the right side as your back heel clicks up. Move the left foot out of the way, lizard high lunge. Stretch out the chest, lengthen out the spine. Then from there, drop the back knee down, walk your hands back as you dig into your front heel, 
diagonal half split, maybe stay low or stay high. Take two breaths, inhale. Exhale, I like to slightly press on my pinky toe side on my right foot. Inhale, deepen the hip crease, the belly contact with your left front thigh, and exhale. We bend the front knee as you plant the foot down to the ground, the hands can shift in. If you feel that it's a little bit too far, you shift the right knee in a little bit. Hands below the shoulders. I'll show you without loss. You can bend the elbows and just stay to a height that's comfortable for you. That's plenty. Some of us will save our trick. Some of us can bring the left elbow down and the one arm gets stuck. Some of us can get both. You can interlace your fingers as though you're doing a hip step. Front knee bend, elbows below the shoulders. Squeeze your back leg option as you stay. Keep planting into your left front big toe. Stay for three, two, and slowly one. Drop the back knee. Place the hands on the ground. Look forward. Once again, you want fingers or palms. Lift up the back thigh, but same as just now. We're going to step the right foot outside of the right hand. Same thing, half squat, or maybe by now, you can go into a full squat. Mm -hmm. So either way, okay, full squat. If it's half squat, you open your feet a little wider. Then take your forearms on your thighs and open your inner thighs. Then you just stay here, just maintain your back long. Those in a full squat, you can slide your palms in front of the chest and try to upright your torso, letting the weight drop down into your heels and into your bum. Take a little while there, broaden the press, broaden the collarbones, then release your hands to the ground, feet parallel, and exhale, fold into your legs, standing forward, fold over your thighs. Take a little while, stretch out your back long, inhale, flat back, long spine. Keep the spine long, shift weight onto your toes, and take your hands on your hips, come into a halfway up. And exhale, feel the singeing in of the waist and supporting across the lower back to stay. Two more breaths like this. Inhale. Find back long, come out a little higher if you need to. Exhale. Last breath here. Inhale. Strengthening the back, the core as you find firmness in the legs. And exhale. Slowly from there, inhale all the way, come upright. Exhale, arms release beside the knee. Then from there, Still facing the top end of the mat. You point your toes forward and step your right foot out to the right side into a wide stance. From wide stance, your hands on the hips, your heels turn up, toes and knees point up, come into a wide goddess squat. Toes angle up, knees bend. You can stay like this or hinge halfway forward where we got the back strong and straight just now. Hands on the inner knee. Your hands on the inner knee, your arms can squeeze straight. Tip the left shoulder towards the right knee as you use your left hand to slightly stretch out the length from inner thigh to inner knee without pause. Good. Let the chest turn. You may be sit deeper or stay with the same height. Slowly come back to center. Right arm press. You stretch out the length of inner thigh to knee. Left hand support the knee so you feel very stable in the foot and turn the chest towards the left side. Relax the jaws and breathe. Then slowly from there, turn back to center. Squeeze your legs straight and point your toes forward. Hands on hips, butt shift back. All the way, halfway forward. Or all the way, hands to the ground. Hold on to the ankle and fold into your legs. Take a while, breathe. Once again, you turn the heels in, turn the toes up. This time, take the right hand on left ankle, left hand on right ankle, and cross your upper arms. Then you can bend your knees and try as though you're bringing the elbows towards the ground. Then stretch your forearms, reach forward. Cross your forearms, cross your wrists. You sit deeper in the pose as you find eagle arms as you come up into goddess pose. Gently stretch your belly and tip backwards. Exhale, slowly fold forward. Keep the knees bending as you tip your pinky finger towards the ground. Unlock the arms. Change the crossing right arm forward, left hand onto the ankle. Maybe parallel the feet and squeeze the arm leg straight into a cross arm forward fold. 
fill the buttocks go up, the thighs go back. Once again, if you can, you turn the heels in, toes out, bend the knees in a half squat. Then cross the forearms, cross the wrists, slowly come up part way or all the way up, stand into your feet, gently arch back. Exhale, tip forwards. Pinky finger might catch the ground, you just sit to the height that your back allows. Unlock the hands, hands to the ground, feet parallel. And take the hands on the hips, exhale all the way up to standing thing. Then from there, turn your left toes forward. Look ahead, right foot step front. Come towards the top end of the mat and just take a few moments. Spread out your toes. Find the outer angels, pinkies out the foot, both feet, and also find the big toe mount as you press into the heels and stand tall. Good. Relax the jaws. Let yourself find neutral curve as you let your belly just relax your lower back and thighs. For three breath, whichever breath that helps you to feel centered. Can be the sighing out breath, the end of breath. Or the nostril breathing on your own. Then from there, you step down one turn down the mat. Okay, you can bring your feet closer together unless you feel any SI joint pain. Give a little distance between your heel or between your feet, like one piece will do. Otherwise, you can squeeze your thighs together for better feedback. Then you bend the knees. Make sure the knees track forward, thighs go back. Feel the back long before you sit into an imaginary chair. Both arms stretch out chair pose. Then slowly, slowly bend your knees and come into a squat before you find your buttocks to the ground. Heels forward. Hands catch the back of the knees and round your lower back. So you posterior tilt like cat pose. You bring your feet closer together. Arms are going straight. You can hunch your back but broaden across the collarbones. The elbow crease can face up into a supported boat pose. Take a little while. You keep your knees bent and soften your hip flexors. Working into the deep core muscle. Relax the jaws. Then slowly from there, plant the feet down. Hands behind you. Push with straight arms. Now once again, you round a little bit, you tip the feet up using a little bit of obliques. Okay, you use your hands to support the elbows hug in. You tip your knee towards the right side as your chest turns left. Hold it here for a little while. Come back to center. We go for second side. Come back to center. One more time, first side. Breathe. Keep the knee bent, the thighs glued in. Come back to center, change sides. Come back to center, feet on the ground, knees bent. Press through straight arms, squeeze and feel a little squeeze of the shoulder blades as you broaden across the chest. Press down the thumb and index finger. Squeeze your legs straight forward in front of your heel. Hands below the shoulders, wear a comfortable height point front to toes. Then from there, feel like your buttocks scoop towards the back of the heel. Slowly, slowly push the ground and let yourself come into a reverse plank. Big toe pressing, arms squeezing straight. You can look in or slightly look up. And exhale, heels dig to the ground and slowly flat the buttocks find the ground. Then from there, the dasana. Take your hands beside the thighs and feel like you cut in at the hips and heels slide forward. Let your chest be bright, let your back be nice and firm. As you stay here with hands support the ground, or feel free, one arm next to your ears, reaching out. One arm next to the other arm next to your ears. Feel like you are a V shape. And just gazing beyond forward to a comfortable height, relax the jaws. Hands slightly apart will be more comfortable. Breathing for five, press down the thighs, press down the knees. For four, relax the toes if you like to. For three, Two, one. Slowly press down the thighs and lift yourself up. Interlace your fingers and press your palms facing up to the sky. Relax the jaw. Slowly bend the elbows, hands at the back of the head. Pull in the elbows pointing towards the front knee. 
and keep the heels driving down to the ground slowly tuck and round 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 like you're going to a height where you can pull for five four keep the heel on the ground that's five for three two one slowly hands find the ground tip yourself forward and bend your knees knees point up to the sky and slowly open your thighs outward into a butterfly position I like to keep my hands behind me a little bit and hinge a little bit forward the hip cutting in and a hip crease take a little while here relax the jaws and breathe then slowly from there come up right across your ankle comfortable seat then take your left hand on your knee and bend the elbow bend the upper arm towards the thigh as you take your right arm overhead your ears you need to plant into the edge of the foot and stretch the right arm as you crunch in at the left side body inhale come back to center change you cross the forearms cross the elbow right hand over bend the elbow tip the shoulder down you may be here or you add on left arm overhead your ears and you just slowly revolve the chest and everything feels like it's going to peel up you try to plant the bottom down and squeeze the left arm maybe further away from the ears you can put it down then turn 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 the ribs a little bit facing out to the left side second time will be easier Inhale, come up, cross the forearms, cross the elbow crease, lean to left side, right arm across the ear, stretching out. Just go down to where you can wedge against the foot and revolve the chest facing out a little bit more right side. Come back up, you can lower the chest facing down, right hand on the outer left knee, and then left arm next to your ears. Feel a nice side bend to the right and rotation chest towards the left. It's very deep hip crease on the right side. And slowly from there, roll your chest down, pull the arms out, cross at the upper arms, take your hands right around the back. And from there, you slightly tip and round forward, softening across the back, spreading open as you use your fingers to slightly broaden across the shoulder blades. Slowly come back up. Cross the other ankle in front, you cross the other arm over, give yourself a hug, but use this chance, use the fingers, lay open the shoulders, just comfortable seat, and slowly tip forward with a round the back. Buttocks heavy, if you got back pain, you keep the back a little bit straighter. And slowly inhale, tip back up, cross, uncross the hands, and then from there, Put your right foot in, your left leg out. Squeeze your legs straight on the left and then sit your belly between. Okay, close like the belly is coming to the right heel. And from there, you tip on the fingers, you lean forward, you lean forward and lean forward to where you can. Stay here, planting down the left heel, the right thighs, or feel free to reach your hands forward. Mm -hmm. Or you can. Make sure you get a good view, okay? Or you can rest down on your forearms. You can walk both hands, okay, with straight arms, okay? You can walk both hands over to your left side. Slowly walk back center. Walk the hands in. Keep the right knee bent and then step the left foot on the ground. So the right heel comes close to the groin. The left foot, okay, like a squat pose, standing on your left foot, left knee bent. Use your forearms, hold on to opposite elbow and just let the forehead find the fine knee. Just relax the shoulders a bit. Take a few breaths, just allow everything to soften. As you find a comfortable seat, we call asanas as seat. Okay, so sitting into the pose, finding a comfortable seat in your posture. So after a few breaths, the body starts to, you know, release any discomfort. 
more and more regarding the pose, it starts to get a little bit more comfortable with the pose. The defense mechanism regards with the regards to this pose hopefully drops with the calmer breath. So if it doesn't drop, you still feel ah okay, it's a lot. You just shift yourself, you pull a little bit less tight, and then just stay here. Option one, you find okay, it's more comfortable. I open the left knee out to the left side and I pull my right foot, the left foot towards my shoulder. And I use my either elbow crease to hook onto the ankle, like, like so. Or I can use my elbow crease to go to the foot and the other one over the knee. Just pull the leg into your into you and then try to balance your seat onto your butt. And let the chest rise. You can hold it firm or gently roll from side to side. So pick which works for you. I like to hold it firm as I deepen the hip crease and ease my jaws. So my hands are forming a nice good grip that's helping my legs to stay in. Then you loosen the grip, use your hands to find your foot. And then you feel like you want to spring the knee behind the armpit. Like a happy baby seated. If by now you feel like you're going to fall over, your right leg can be straight up forward in front of you. Okay. Otherwise, you keep it bent and wedged on the pinky side of the foot. Okay. Just a few times of rock, then you can transform it a little bit. Hold on to the back of the legs, you can hold on to the outer left knee, and then squeeze the leg straight a few times. This will give you a clear indication whether sundown is possible for you with an outstretched straight leg. So if you can't straighten the leg here, it's going to be really difficult for you to straighten the leg eventually in the final pose. So just go with this. Okay, if I, okay, I'm content, I knew, know that I can't straighten my leg in the final pose, I'm okay. But I like to try the other aspect, stay with me. Take your hand, both hands, find the heel and tip over to your right side so your left butt will lift. It's lopsided, I know. Then from there, you pull the foot away from the butt and then you, you lean a little forward and get the shoulder underneath the knee. And then just clamp it down. So you'll feel a lot of crunch in the left side hips. So we don't want to stay there like this for too long. So you can be here or you can come out of the pose by just letting the foot come down. Option is to take the right palm, flip the palm around, find the pinky side of the foot. Then this left arm is free, find the ground on the left side. You plant weight back onto the left butt. And from there, you either look over to the right shoulder or you can squeeze the leg straight against the resistance of the hand and just press the arm straight, roll the shoulder back and just turn your chest to face towards the right side. Then just breathe. Three, two, one. Turn the chin in, bend the knee and slowly clamp it down. Then from there, bend the left elbow, hold the hand onto the ankle to slowly, slowly slide. And you just sit and place the ankle on the thigh or just in front of the calf or ankle. Take a while. You can still keep your hands connected to your feet. Slightly take a while. Okay, just need a little rest. So if I feel outer butt working a lot, lower back, okay. If you feel it too cramping up, okay, it could be an indication that it's still very tight for you to pull the leg straight. So ease down a little bit. Left knee bent, left foot to groin, right leg out. So we just stay in the pose. So more and more of my practice is really finding a relationship with the body through mindfulness, through breath, to really come to terms with the body and its readiness to go into a pose further or just peel back and enjoy the present moment. Okay, I hope you find a relationship with the body like this as well. It takes time. A lot of patience, a lot of listening to the body, and sometimes resistance. Okay, we all work with that. Slowly from here, you can take your hands forward and just stay, like you're trying to increase the hip crease. Or you can, some of us have a little range. We try to stay right in the center. We maybe plant the hands to use the weight of the body to get us a little down. And then this right knee will want to bend. Okay, you can bend it. You can put something below it, like a towel roll, so that it cushion the impact on the back of the knee a little bit. Otherwise, you're driving the thighs down, driving the heel forward into a forward fold. Then we walk both hands over to the right inner thigh. 
You can take the right arm to the right side and pull a little bit deeper towards the right side. Relax the jaws. The left side waist will stretch. The right side waist, just keep the right butt heavy. Slowly lift your chest, walk back to the center. Then from there, keep the left knee bent, the right knee bent to stand on the foot. You pull the left heel closer to the groin and just up in everything. It's like getting comfortable in a squat. My right butt is floating. Right butt is not on the ground because I'm squatting. And depending on your proportion, it might be higher up. Okay, but we're just coaxing our body a little deeper in the pose through breath work. So maybe the sign breath is easier for you to coax your body into a gentler state. And the breath for the nostril. Slowly lift your chest and chin, turn the knee open like you're going butterfly pose. And then from there, scoop the leg into your chest, any fashion that you like with your arms. Stay here, rock the baby. You can push the foot into your upper arm so that you feel like a nice good thigh. Okay, and then try to stay right in the center. Then from there, release your right hand to come in front of the calf. And then just pull the knee backwards into your side. And pause it. Check in on your back from time to time. If you find yourself collapsing, your left foot can go on forward. Okay, it's just as a longer lever to help you to support. Then from there, I wedge into my left foot and lift my right butt up so it's tipping. I crunch in on my left side waist. Then from there, I may just be here, just clamping and then just putting it here and then try to sit back in. So I've progressed one stage from my leg in front of my chest to my leg over my upper arm. Eventually, you'll go over the shoulder for sundown. So if I need, if I want to, I tip to. And if I want to go to sundown, I need to raise my heel a little higher. So open the clamp and then get my shoulder underneath my knee. Okay, then from there, I flip my left palm, find the front of the ankle, right hand go out to the side. I sit back to my right side and make sure my left foot is wedged. Slowly pushing the right arm, rotate the chest, squeeze the right leg straight and roll the chest open. Because I did some, we did some shoulder stretch just now, so that it's easier to side bend to the right side and rotate to the left side. Relax the jaws, you can just look down to the direction that works for you. Three for three, the, front, the top foot can be point or flex. Flex just make the foot closer for you to hold. Two, one, bend the knee, clamp down, clamp it down for a while, and slowly undo the right hand and let the foot come onto the thigh. It's almost like entry into a half lotus, but this is an hour class, so we're not going there. Take a few moments, hands press beside your hips, just to find that as you sit in, you lift up everything, cinch into the center without full breath. Exhale, lean your weight back, unlock the legs, feet forwards. Feet through straight lines, hands beside you. Just press with your hands and sit up tall. Stay here, you're just trying to press the back of your thighs, back of your calves down to the ground, relax the jaws. Staying just for another five more breaths. Find the weight trying to shift to the center. And slowly from there, make sure you have ample space behind you. You can roll yourself down or just adjust yourself. Okay, with your forearms, slowly go down. Slow, slow. If you have a tailbone that protrudes up, okay, you, you probably just want to help yourself down. Slowly go down, 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 down. Just make yourself comfortable. And then from there, bend your knees, feet on the ground. So I like to feel my ribs a bit lifted away from my pelvis, so my back is long. And then open my knees, open my feet a little bit to let my knees come in. A lot of opening that we're doing, a lot of outer hip stretching. So let's close back in. And this hugging in of the inner thighs 
help to soften across the top of the pants. Okay, not your pants, but where your lower, where you feel it on the pelvis and the lower back. Okay, you just stay here for a little while, just allow everything to close in at a comfortable pace. You can stay like this, or you can add in something to bring your feet close together as well. Then from there, you cross your left, the left thigh over the right thigh. And then you can open your arms like cactus, or straight out to the side. I don't have space, so I have every grade if I do cactus. And then I just tip a few times, wedging across my right ankle. I'm not going to land on the ground. Yeah, I'm just going to tip a few times towards the right side. And I'm going to do it so slowly so that I know, you know that the return and going into the pose is well controlled. And it's something that's manageable. It's not like you're just throwing your body all around, which is nice when we're younger. But when we are a little bit older, want to be a little bit more cautious. And then come back, let's unhook, cross the right thigh over the left thigh, then wedge yourself to the center, squeeze the thigh, and then just gently, like you see I'm rolling across the outer pinky side of the foot. Not going for a full extent, I like to imagine my pelvis as a bowl, rounded, so as a rounded bowl, or imagine a Russian dog. It's just rolling, but it doesn't tip down all the way. Okay. To bring it further down, but be able to return it, okay, that requires a certain amount of core stability. So otherwise, we're just using it to suit ourselves on the session, where a lot of hip opening might lead to you know, more sensitivity around the back if you work a little bit too hard today. Stay in the midway mark if you like to. And slowly come back across the leg, feet on the ground. Just like place myself in the center, draw the ribs away. Take the hands out to the sides of the body in the middle here. And then all the time, stretch the legs out forward and let the feet just go out to the side. Relax the jaws, shoulder away from the ears. Find a comfortable position. As you settle down into Shavasana. If some of us feel more comfortable in a bent knee position, please do so. If likewise you feel comfortable with doing a few more stretching before you rest, please honor that as well. Especially if you know what you are doing. Okay? Even better, just adding a few poses here and there and then just rest. But after you do, just let yourself rest completely. So the doing part is important, but the resting and assimilating part is just as important. So let the feet go out forward, the toes just gently relax. Relax the jaws. And slowly ease into the body.
you need more rest, please feel free to stay in Shavasana. Otherwise, just wiggle the fingers and the toes. Curl your legs slightly. Push your arms over the Roll to one side, side line for a full breath. When you're ready, top palm press the ground in front of you. Hop up to a sit, face forward, eyes closed. Comfortable seat like how we started. Choose one breath of your choice. Take three breaths. Slide your palms to your heart center. Big thanks for your practice today. And hope you got a little sunny working into your tree. Sundown pose or reaching the sundown pose today. Now gently, peel open your eyes. Namaste.